Hello, we are now here in um, Sydney in the uh, Zetlands suburb and actually we didn't plan to be here during the uh, Christmas holidays but now the um, situation is that we are here and we are now enjoying our time and this is here one park just for the citizens which which live here in this area and I think the people here there are more more dogs than people actually so this is the Jointon Park and now we are on the way on our way to um, to the uh, train station which is called um, what's the name again Green, Green, Square. Green Square so the next train station or the uh, underground station is the Green Square and have a look here so last uh, last week or oh, it's still it's still actually Sydney has a big problem still has a big problem with uh, bushfires but today we are lucky that the weather is super nice a bit windy but sunny and we are able to stay outside without coughing or have having um, breathing problems and this is how it looks here so people are living here in this in this apartment this is a really I would say very expensive area these are gum trees different gum trees here's again benches for the small park here and it's Monday Monday morning actually and therefore the traffic isn't very crowded at the moment but that can change and this is our route now our classic route which is going to Green Square and we will pass by a tree where baits are living and these baits are really huge huge baits and what I like the most if I'm if I'm coming to Sydney I love the sound of the animals here so you have here a lot of different bird sounds even even if you don't see them you can hear them and uh, discriminate between lorikeets or uh, magpies where the baits are living and the uh, special sound of the birds is already starting here we, ca we can't see them actually and this is the this is the special tree and this is a huge huge tree and in the evening you can see all around here in, in, on the top of the tree a lot of baits and they, they are really huge. I never saw that huge baits actually. They are black and hanging, hanging there. Yeah, I don't know if it's now possible to hear the, the birds, but this is the tree this is a beautiful tree and I'm glad that the city didn't cut cut this tree because at this. look at these branches beautiful yeah there must have been uh, a lot of a lot more of this kind of trees but um, during urbanization, yeah, they have been the victim of urbanization. So we are now we are now going to the botanical garden in Sydney, 
and this is a kind of tradition from us so if if I'm arriving in Sydney we always go at the in the first day we always go to the botanical garden to say hello to uh, the kakadus there so the part this part here is again under construction and they are, uh, they are building again here in a uh, Meriton apartment or a uh, Meriton complex and the Meriton where you can um, rent a small apartments or small rooms if you consider to stay longer that is uh, preferable than a hotel room and yeah this is how it looks here here we have a uh, public bus transport station and now we are coming Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this alley here shows us really old buildings. This is really nice here. This is typical British architecture, I think. Oh yeah, and this is this is the bird lady. She always gives the water for the birds. And she, actually, you can find here a lot of in the morning, in the in the uh, really early morning, you can find a lot of lorikeets coming to her and eat something or drink drink water. This is how it looks here. So this type of buildings are rem remind reminds me on I don't know Western films or something. And this part reminds me more uh, British architecture. So look at this nice decoration here on the on the uh, laterns or on the lamps here. So yes, it is Christmas time and. Here we have again a whole construction area and this building uh, I, I had the opportunity to, to see it several times in several states of the project and now it's, it's ready and I think this is a really impressive building. I hope it is uh, in the quality better than the opal sky skyliner or the opal apartments and I think this is really for residents just uh, not not office rooms or something it's just for living and what is really nice because it gives people the opportunity to have a flat in the city near the CBD Uh, but again it is a really expensive area and here this uh, glass roof building this is in a uh, library they build it out of glass I don't want to know the energy costs of this building especially when it comes to um, to have the climate in the in this room but yeah Australia is I think rich enough for that oh again here a nice Christmas tree beautiful let's go down let's make a picture yeah the bus. yeah here are the construction workers they have a meeting and here is our beautiful Christmas tree which is directly near the Green Square train station have a look in this hole 
What is this? Oh, I think this belongs to the library. I think this belongs to the library. So there are children sitting or there are students working on their laptops. So this is really nice. So a quite quite area within the busy part of the city. So we arrived now at the uh, train station uh, museum. So we drive uh, two stations from this green square to museum. And what we do have here is the Opel card. And you can load this Opel card uh, either by cash or by card, uh, by, by um, credit card. And it's super easy. You can, this is here a system where you can check out. And this was my balance. And you need to, first you need to check in and then check out where you um, arrived. And this is the machine where you can load your um, Opal card. So you, you put your Opal card in here and choose pay pay with cash yeah or with credit card and then you enter your money or your credit card here somewhere and you need to wait until your money is uh, transferred to the card this is the station museum and actually it's middle of the cbd and this again a mixture of different type of architectures different type of buildings and again I mean it's it's Monday and therefore it's um, not very crowded modern buildings here I think this is not very beautiful uh, in front of these buildings you have this nice park here is uh, some instruction work so welcome to Hyde Park. It's called the Hyde Park. You have here again uh, the station museum station. Hello. And this is the Hyde Park. It's the middle middle in the city in the CBD. And these are the buildings. Actually, I have no idea if there are people living or if this is only for office office rooms. But obviously here on the balconies you can see laundry and um, flowers so they are people living but I think again it's very pricey even living quality might be not very high here so near to the to the street here I mean No waiting. No waiting where? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, don't put your food in this water for whatever reason ever. I think this is like a monument. It looks really monumental, actually. Yeah, this is pretty. The for ah, for the fallen soldiers, yeah. Again a hole Hola. oh wow this is a uh, memorial memorial building somehow yeah I think it would be worth to it's look inside I think it would be worth to look inside, but not today. Or should we, can we go? go through, we can go through here. Oh, okay. Only the top, there's the eternal flame. Oh, the eternal flame. It's burning in your heart for me. The It'll eternal be flame. Be silent now. Oh, silent.
behind me you have uh, the part with the memorial of the fallen soldiers from Australia and this is the, the first part or one part of the park and this is the second part where you cross the street and look at this beautiful cathedral here and enjoy the view I mean uh, I didn't saw till um, I still didn't saw any birds so this is the other part from the Hyde Park in Sydney and one, one, one would think Sydney or Australia is completely a dry country or desert, a deserted country but this is absolutely not the case for Sydney as you can see it looks more tropical And yeah, the sound is also very tropical, in my opinion, with the birds and the trees here. So this is the CBD, what you can see on this side. Ooh. And this kind of plants is really tropical and here, here you have again the cathedral and yeah we are now on our way through this Hyde Park to the Botanical Garden and I just love the sound of the birds here we will not say, so we are not expecting seeing kangaroos or koalas or something the special thing here in this area is more are more the birds but I read an article in the newspaper I forgot in which suburb it is from Sydney where you can expect to see wild koalas but at the moment there is a high expectancy of bush fires of bush fires so therefore is recommended to check first where you go if there is an fire danger yeah and we now reach the other side of the park where you have this fontaine Look at this little turtle and this guy here is murdering a humanoid um, bull, I think. I don't know what these sculptures for stories telling me. But I think one is very privileged if you have an opportunity to go in your lunch break to such a nice park. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, this is the 16th of December so it's uh, the um, the spring is almost over summer is coming and it is already in high fire risk emergency or urgency here we stopped by uh, Piccolomi this is our view from here and Piccolomi offers lunch packets so this is the menu from them so I choose the Papa Piccolo with a chicken tomato cheese avocado lettuce and pesto mayo and this is their offering what they're offering burgers mainly 
can also drink wine and also the crisps. And this is uh, the entry to the palace garden, Royal Botanic Garden, where we will go afterward. We are we finished our meal and we are here now in the uh, um, entrance of the botanical garden in Sydney and um, my sandwich was not very good but good to go and look at this beauty here. I keep my bread from the sandwich which I have here to feed the birds. Voila. Oh, he's not interested. But the other ones. So let's try to find other birds. Now the sun is coming. Look at this beautiful tree and this nice park. In the distance you can see the sea. And this part of the park reminds me a bit of an English garden actually where you want to go this part rose rugosa ooh from from frau dagmar hastrup rose family rosacea mm, interesting this is a magnolia tree. Do you think uh, this is the name from the breeder? Could be. Oh, I hear kakadus. Let's follow the kakadu sounds. This is the rose garden. Oh, Mary Rose. That's nice. Some have already blossomed. Oh, look at this beautiful blossom here. Wow. Rosa, Mr. Lincoln. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, there's a gardener. The gardener is working. Oh, this kind of rose. Look at this. Different colors. Oh, this one is beautiful. Pale rose. Yeah, in the distance I can hear the kakadus. Let's see if we are lucky to see them. Oh, there is some strange sound. Kokobura. Oh yeah, this this might be a kokobura, yeah. But the kookaburras actually are eating insects and meat and I don't have meat with me. I just have bread. Oh yeah. Look at this. The birds there in the middle. They are fighting for something. Oh, there is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. A really nice view. 
and a couple days before the bridge was almost not visible because of the haze from the bush bushfires Magpies are making really strange noise. Here are the ibises again. They are fighting. This is the exhibition from the botanical garden. Event in space or something. Actually, I'm not interested in. Um, but let's go on the right side and then through the tropics here. Through but the tropical I just forest want here. to uh, show the audience this uh, interesting sculpture here do you think this is a nice sculpture no what have they thought and as they the made eyes. it what for Looks what for eyes ah uh, i don't know it's, it's looks totally Perhaps strange they are in the night. no plants no animals all right oh yeah that's possible Interesting. Now we are exploring the one of the uh, paths within the garden, and this is how it looks here. It's completely grown by trees and farms. And you have here a description. Um, text <coughs> Livy Stona Decora Weeping Cabbage Palm Interesting Black Palm Look at this beautiful farm. Huge. No, this is a palm. Again, a palm. The ground is very soft. Here? Oh, and casuary. But not the real Once one. He was here. Where? Here. Ah, but right. No through here. Okay. It was a little bit scary because it was not really visible there. Ah, here's again a casuary <coughs> sculpture. Do you think some of them are edible? Uh, yes. It's super interesting that these kinds of um, trees and plants are growing here even during the winter.
There's the magpie. Hoi, that was good. Are there more coming? No. These kind of animals are just living here in the botanical garden. This is their home. I think he will not eat bread. He might eat insects. He's following me with his eyes. I know this. But he's not invisible, you know. What's this for a fruit? It smells interesting. But I can't tell you what kind of fruit this is. Here are a lot of ants I don't know from where this this fruit is falling down because I can't um, find the tree from where it comes and this part of the garden um, is explained here this is um, this is uh, the part of, of this garden is mainly to explain to people what the first arrival colonies were eaten. And this here looks for me, it looks to me like spinach or something. This could be um, carrots. This is pepper. And these are herbs. So peppermint, I think. Oh, and this is a nice, very nice, this is an eggplant. A nice eggplant. And this here again, that might be, that might be carrots. Carrots, and this here, oh, look at this, wow orange bombs interesting and these are um, strawberries yeah there is there is one one strawberry so this is the part of the garden which explains what the first colonizers 
uh, planted here to have food and this is um, kidneys what is the name I forgot oh what is this Ah, tomatoes nice tomatoes this is a fig tree where you have the pigs already on the tree this year I think this looks like a lemon tree maybe yeah this might be a lemon tree and there oh wow look at this beauty you really have here growing bananas so we are still in Sydney in the Botanical Garden and it is December and you have green bananas ready to harvest Oh, this is here an asparagus plant. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I never saw before an asparagus plant. This looks nice. I want to try one of those. Tastes a bit like asparagus. They also, they just eat the um, blossoms, so you can't catch them with bread or something else. They just eat the blossoms or the nectar in the blossoms, I don't know. From this tree and there is another tree which they prefer. There is one. I don't know if this is visible in the camera, through the camera, but yeah, the nice, the, the sound of it is really nice. And in the distance we have the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge and as you can see the uh, ground is completely dried out and actually it's the beginning of the summer so but the ground is already dry here we have the Sydney Opera House Actually, I read a sign that you must not feed the birds. I wasn't 
informed about that. Because of that, I will throw away the rest of my bread now. Because, yeah, the birds shouldn't get used to it to get feed by humans. But actually, they are already. Some of them, they uh, pick. Look, look at this uh, birds here. They are all waiting for me to give them bread. Yeah, some of them are directly uh, picking up from your hand the whole bread if they have the chance. This is again a super nice view. And yeah, it's Monday, three o'clock. It's totally empty. The park is totally empty from my perspective. For a five million city, this is a really calm park. So we are here again in the botanical garden and we are hitting now the uh, most beautiful viewing point here. So this is one part. This in the uh, this uh, this is the harbor bridge and in front of it the uh, Sydney Opera House. The CBD is on the left side, and we are really lucky. Completely not crowded today. This is a nice tree. This is again a beautiful view. We are um, at the end of our botanical garden tour and this is uh, the most beautiful spot here and look how empty this is today this is the CBD and this path is um, closed I think this might be one of the reasons why it is very empty today. But yeah, you can get a glimpse of the lifestyle here from Sydney. And this is just the botanical garden. And there are many other parks here in this city. See you next time!